Does it hurt now? No, something happened. They shoot me. It's a drama tragically familiar in the headlines, but to live it up close in a movie theater makes it all the more real. At this year's Cannes Film Festival, Jupiter's Moon by Hungarian director Kornel Mundrucho portrays a Syrian refugee. He is shot dead by border guards and comes back to life as an angelic figure who can levitate. He tries but fails to stop a suicide bombing in the metro by another asylum seeker. It's a film exemplifying Europe's struggle with itself over migration, Hungary included, as President Viktor Orban takes an anti-immigrant stance. My problem is your problem as well, if you are European. So, of course, Hungary is an example, and from a perspective, is a bad example. But it can be easily everywhere. In her directorial debut, actress Vanessa Redgrave takes you inside the lives of refugees. Redgrave says she hopes her film Sea Sorrow helps to stir more compassion at a time of mixed feelings among many Europeans. Some hard, sobering messaging and moralizing amid the tuxedos, designer gowns and glitz. The makers of these films hope they can carry that message beyond that red carpet, which is just steps away from the Mediterranean. And what about the tables turned? What about German workers in Bulgaria? In the film Western, director Valeska Griesbach shows the difficulty Germans can face trying to integrate in a strange land. When I realized I had this setting about these uh, German workers, construction workers working in another country, where they are themselves strangers, but they have all this desire to get in contact, but at the same time, this mistrust and, oh, fear. In such an idyllic place as Cannes, it's easy to forget about the thousands of people who've died trying to cross this sea. This festival has films that aim to jar a desensitized public back to reality, and their creators hope that will move people to action. Chris Burns at the Cannes Film Festival, 